it is very important to make sure we're always staying intellectually alive. So some of the ways that we can do that is by always remaining teachable, by reading great books by great thinkers, um, being inspired by moms or families that have gone ahead of us and done the same exact thing that we're currently doing right now. I have five books that have inspired me, five out of so many, but these five just keep me really balanced and these are some of the things that resonate with me, these are some of the things, um, some of these books that inspire me, some of the perspectives and the just the principles behind them or things that really speak to me have shifted my mindset on a lot of things and helped me see my kids. So I challenge you to make sure that you're always learning, you're always growing, you're always remaining teachable because your kids need that and they need you. It refreshes you, it just allows you to always um, be going a little bit deeper on what you can be doing for your child to help them learn and to help them grow. Book number one, For the Children's Sake. This is one of my favorites. This is not just great for homeschool parents, but this can be read by educators, private school, public school educators alike. This is a book that just shows that education can be an adventure. It's a celebration of life. As Charlotte Mason, who is an educator that there is actually a whole method behind her name, but as she says, education is for life, not just for the schools. And this book does a good job of explaining that and giving practical application of how to make sure that is happening. Book number two, Teaching from Rest. This is a homeschooler's guide to unshakable peace. <sighs> Homeschooling can be tiring. Doing this job oh, can drain you sometimes. So this is a great book to be reading annually, really. I like to always read this before each school year. So if you're watching this, you're either homeschooling or have felt called to homeschool, maybe you're just doing some research and you're just saying, can I do this? I'm here to tell you, yes, you can. But this is a great book to read going into each homeschool year. So it speaks to those moms that are tired, that have doubts, that are stressed out, and just get bogged down by all of the responsibilities that this job can hold. This book is faith-based and it gives practical application for teaching from rest definitely check it out. All right, book number three, The Call of the Wild and Free. As Henry David Thoreau says, all things are wild and free. So that's really the basis behind this book. It's written by a homeschool mom. It focuses on a love for nature, exploration, bringing just the wonder back to life and learning. It also puts great emphasis on just prolonging the wonder of childhood. A lot of times the education system and the different systems that are in place for children. They make our children just grow up way faster than they need to be. So this is just really safeguarding and giving you ways that you can make sure that you're safeguarding your children's childhood. Just making it last as long as it can by not putting unnecessary pressures on them. The mama that actually wrote this book um, has created this online platform, this online community called wild and free and you can actually find this online community by following the link right down here it is bewildandfree.org and book number four it's a little more radical than the other three books it really focuses more on an unschooling approach um, I guess you could say I have I'm a little bit more eclectic so I pull from a few different methods primarily Charlotte Mason but a lot of things that I read and hear from the unschool community just also resonates a little bit with me um, it kind of just makes me feel a little bit more free and not so boxed in so no I'm not a full-on purist homeschooler but a lot of the ideas the principles and the methods behind it is just something <sighs> That gives me such a freedom so I do apply some of this some of the approaches um, to our learning and just our way of life this next book book number four is called homegrown it's adventures in parenting off the beaten path unschooling and reconnection with the natural world um, this book is actually written by a father he is part of a family just a charming family in Vermont that live on a homestead and they completely homeschool their two boys. They're raising them just, um, just child-directed play, exploration, learning. Their homestead, their land, is their classroom. So again, their views are pretty radical 
and quite unconventional. So even though, no, I'm not this radical and unconventional, it's just so refreshing sometimes to hear from these families that um, just give you a, a different perspective on just really being so free from the traditions and the ideologies that we carry and that just have been conditioned into us and to really step away and feel some freedom and make sure that that what you are doing and how you're approaching life is not all for schools. I recommend that you just check it out. Of course, I am super drawn to the name Homegrown. I just love everything about home and raising our kids in the home. So. Um, if you thought though that I was a little more unconventional and out of the box, ha, huh, you definitely check this family out. Okay, and book number five is an oldie but goodie. It's been around for a few decades. It's by author John Holt called How the Child Learns or How Children Learn. This is great insight to the nature of early learning for a child. John Holt says in his book that learning is as natural as breathing. In the book, he looks at how we learn to talk how we learn to read, how we learn to reason, and how we can nurture and encourage the children to learn just so naturally. It's not something that we have to force. It's a great, great read. It really makes you think. It shakes a little bit of your views on, again, how you've been conditioned to view education or how you've been conditioned to think that so much of the learning on a child at such an early age is so forced, unnatural, and can really kill that love for learning as they grow and they develop. All right, so these are the top five books that I wanted to share with you today. Again, there's so many more out there that are great. So don't be afraid to research. Check these books out, of course, but I know even beyond these five, they were a little bit hard because I had a narrow it down but definitely check these five books out and remember to research remember to remain teachable <sighs> always put yourself out there and listen to some great thinkers find somebody that inspires you all right guys catch you later i also have a homeschool support group so make sure you follow the link below so that you can join my home access club you receive great encouragement and some inspiration to keep yourself going through this year.